the Clarence Labor Day Fair yep. before, and it all kept off with the firefighters selling their chowder, which is a really popular thing up there, right? It's a Monday thing. They line up, they bring their jugs. Right, like their gallon jugs to fill up with this chowder. Yeah, that's a Monday thing, and that's how the Clarence Center volunteer firemen, a lot of them make their money, and, and uh, uh, they're, they're, they have rides starting today, I think continuing through Monday, the obligatory, you know, hit and run band, and uh, I think the nerds uh, gone wild. They're performing as well at the beer tent. Uh, so a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and we'll time everything out for you, uh, what you need to know. Uh, the best day of the four day weekend to get wet uh, is today. Uh, if, and if you want to stroll around the carnival, uh, I think the best day to do that will be Monday because of the sunshine and temperatures in the 60s. If you want to go to a beach, uh, again, if you can't do it today, I think Saturday afternoon is the bet. OK, uh, notice the wide range in temperatures from Buffalo and then for uh, Ol uh, Allegheny County. For viewers in Pennsylvania, you'll be, you'll be in the 70s today. Uh, again, dry today, lovely Monday in between. Pretty complex Saturday dealing with hit and miss rain for the first half of the day. Dry, but mostly cloudy, but not windy for the afternoon with temperatures in the 70s. Now, Sunday, OK, a passing shower, a lot of dry time, but windy. OK, so if you're at Wing Fest and again, I'm going to tell Wing King this, make sure everybody make sure the canopies and, and if you're having an inflatable at your house, you know, a bounce house for the kids or something like that or a pool party on Sunday, it's going to be windy. Wind gusts of 35, maybe to 40 miles per hour for the middle part of the day. OK, temperatures in the 70s. So not a great beach day, for example, on Sunday, not a great day on the boat Sunday, even though your app will say 70s, your app does not tell you the whole story. Get your forecast from a human, for goodness sakes. OK, so in the 70s each day, but again, windy midday Sunday, Labor Day, glorious, starting a stretch of great weather. And, and Melissa, this is good. It's going to cool down for the kids. You know, majority of the schools don't have air conditioning. It's not going to be steamy and in the 80s uh, next week. Uh, it's going to be nice, comfortable temperatures, but they'll be looking outside at sunny skies. OK, yeah, nice and comfortable for them. And at least it won't be rainy at the bus stop this week as the kids get used mm -hmm. to going back to school. All right, Kev, thanks. We'll check back in with you in a bit.